So for this problem, we have a wet bathing suit hanging on a horizontal string in a dorm room. This wet bathing suit has a mass of 3 kilograms, and the horizontal string has a, tension, a force of tension of 60 newtons. We also know that gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared, and the problem asks us to find the angle at which the uh, horizontal uh, string er, will sag. So we have a free body diagram right here. Here we have a force of tension uh, in each direction from the, from the uh, hanging wire, and we have the force of gravity of the mass of the bathing suit. So uh, we know that the force of gra uh, tension is 60 newtons in both directions, so we can label this. So the mass of the, of the bathing suit is 3 kilograms. So in order to find the weight, we just have to multiply by the acceleration due to gravity. Now, both of these forces of tensions are at an angle, which means that they have an x component and a y component. So we had to find out how to, because this object is in equilibrium, right, there's no acceleration, we had to find how to, how to cancel out the forces in the x and y direction. So let's draw the, the components of this. T, y. So now, all these forces have to cancel out to zero. So let's do some of the forces in the x direction. equals m a, which equals zero. We know that because there's no acceleration. Now, this equals force of tension in the x direction minus the force of tension in the x direction because it's going the opposite direction. Obviously, these are going to cancel out and equal zero. So we know there's no problem in the x direction. In the y direction, however, we have a little bit of a different situation. Equals m a, which equals zero but it equals the force of gravity plus the force of tension in the y direction plus another force of tension in the y direction. So we can find the force of tension in the y direction. Let's say, well first we'll say this. 2 FTY equals negative mass times gravity. So 2 and then find the uh, force of uh, force of tension in the y direction. We just use FT sine theta. So we'll say 2 force of tension sine theta equals negative mg. So now we have to find the, uh, sorry, we have to find the uh, force of tension and we have to, we have to uh, plug in all our knowns. So and then, well, that equals 29.4. 29.4. So in order to do this, we had to divide through. So we'll divide, so we'll say sine theta equals 29.4 over 120, which is just 60 times 2. So now we have to use inverse sine to find, and that equals theta. So theta, after we use the inverse sine uh, function, will equal 14.18 degrees. All right, guys, so I'm going to walk you through the second part of this problem, which is asking what will it take for the wire to be completely flat? And when the wire is completely flat, we know that theta is going to be zero. So how do we find theta is zero? It's kind of a trick question, actually, because if you look at the equation for force of gravity, you need the mass to be zero for the, um, the y direction of force to be zero as well. So in order to have theta be zero, we're going to need the angle at which it sags to also be zero, and we're also going to need the mass to equal zero.